You know, Villanova head coach Andy Talley and a number of other programs on top of Villanova, seven in fact in the CAA and 20 around the country, are involved in a lot more than just playing football. They're also involved in helping to save lives with the National Bone Marrow Donor Program. What they do is they try to find matches out there for those who are in serious need of a bone marrow donor. It has worked awfully well, and we thought we'd give you a look at how the program is progressing as we move forward. I was listening to a radio show, and uh, an oncologist came on and said so many people were dying because there was nobody on the registry. Uh, and I went, wow, I've got 90 healthy football players. I think I can get this done. So I said, let's go out and see what our players can do. So we went into the community and encouraged people to come out and test and get on the registry, and, and that's really how it started. What Coach Talley does is fantastic uh, to, to be the focal point of something like that. Um, you know, as everyone knows, my daughter was, is a, was a bone marrow recipient. I was the donor um, six years ago, had a chance to save her life. And We do a lot of community service uh, things at the University of Delaware, and Annie has been talking to me for some time about the bone marrow. We, we jumped on board this year, and my daughter and I were the first two to sign up. We're helping people who really have uh, their last chance. Uh, they've done everything they can do in a bone marrow transplant is their only opportunity to save a life. This past year, Trigg came in and spoke to our team and he was in need of a transplant. That was uh, one of those choke you up kind of moments and our players really have, have understood because now all of a sudden there is a, a face that you can associate with and our players I would say have, have embraced this and are willing to run with it. Unless things hit you personally or touch you personally, sometimes you're desensitized to that. But if you've been involved with it personally or you can get a team, my guys involved with it, then they see the benefits of how it saves lives, how it gets people involved, how it raises the awareness. There was a lady at our testing this year who needed a transplant. She came to our testing and said, I have six months to live and I'm hoping I can find a transplant. And I just got an email three days ago uh, from her to know this lady uh, that was in our testing uh, that she's living is, is just fantastic for really all of our coaches that are in the registry. I mean, we have helped save a life. Lo and behold, after we go through our drive, we find out that there's been a match found for Trigg, and he's gone through the, the process, and uh, you know, <clears throat> someone chose to save his life. And, and that's a really important part for our players to be able to be uh, associated with. We had some uh, people show up that were recipients that just saw that we were doing it and they wanted to stop in and say, oh, by the way, my, I, my life was saved because of a program like this. That was pretty powerful. And I know our kids felt really good about it. I felt really good about it. The awareness is phenomenal. We'll eventually take this across the country, and I hope someday to have every college football team in the country. But uh, the NMDP, the uh, Be The Match Foundation, is very excited about us. We're their largest group that can get after testing. No one can do it better than us and uh, we've just begun. Uh, the future is really ours.